Hi there and welcome to this day in history for October 19th. October 19th is the 292nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 293rd in leap years with 73 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is psychedelic. Psychedelic is usually used as an adjective, but also sometimes used as a noun. As an adjective, psychedelic means of or noting a mental state characterized by a profound sense of intensified sensory perception, sometimes accompanied by severe perceptual distortion <laughs> and hallucinations, and by feelings of extreme either euphoria or despair of relating to or noting any of various drugs producing this state, such as LSD, mescaline, or psilocybin, resembling, characteristic of, or reproducing images, sounds, or the like experienced while in such a state. As a noun, psychedelic can refer to either a psychedelic drug or a person who uses such a substance. This word comes to us from a combination of the Greek words psyche, which means spirit or soul, and delune or delos, which means clear or visible. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. And remember that I have a playlist to my This Day in History series. There will be a link to that in the show notes or in that i-card right up in the corner there on YouTube. If you're watching on Vimeo, it will just be in the show notes. And with that, we're going to start by talking about ancient Germanic peoples. They were a category of Indo-European ethnic groups, not to be confused with Germans from Germany, Germanic peoples were such people as the Roman area Goths, for instance, or the Norse-speaking Vikings, for instance, and many other early Indo-Europeans. Hard to pin down, but best I can tell, it seems like what we refer to as Germanic peoples were a wide variety of more tribal collections of people from the Eurasian continent, except for China. China has just about always had a very distinct culture of its own. That said, there was a group known as the Vandals who first inhabited what is now southern Poland. They didn't stay there, but that's another story. Today's item is that on October 19th in the year 439, 439, the Vandals took Carthage in North Africa. This was no small feat or any small event since Carthage was part of the Roman Empire. <laughs> Romans didn't like that very much. Oh boy. On October 19th, 1216, King John of England died and was succeeded by his nine-year-old son, Henry. Heidelberg University in Germany held its first lectures on October 19th, 1386 making it one of the world's oldest surviving universities. Martin Luther was awarded his Doctor of Theology on October 19, 1512. The French invasion of Russia failed when Napoleon began his retreat from Moscow on October 19, 1812. When I read about these, I always think they didn't look at a map. <laughs> they didn't look at a map. Little bitty France is going to march across Russia and try to take Moscow in the heart of their own country, this huge country. They uh, certainly didn't account for <laughs> how relentlessly fierce the native M Muscovites were. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out so well, so he retreated. Max Planck was a brilliant theoretical physicist who lived from the mid-1800s to the mid-1900s. He's known for a number of scientific concepts and equations. On October 19, 1900, he discovered what is known as Planck's Law of Black Body Radiation. Now, 
I thought it might be fun to tell you a little bit about that, but it was way too complex for me to gather in an afternoon's research. <laughs> yeah, certainly more than I could understand enough to relate or describe in any kind of brief and concise manner. So, if any of you, my viewers, are familiar with Planck's black body radiation and can describe it for ordinary citizens, <laughs> To understand, I would love it if you'd let me know in the comments section below. Now, earlier during October of 1935, the Italian army invaded Ethiopia without any prior declaration of war. And one result of this was that on October 19, 1935, the League of Nations placed economic sanctions on Italy. This is the birthday of German-American artist Peter Max, born October 19, 1937. I'm happy to see that he's still alive, but I don't know if he's still making art or not. Peter Max is known for his use of bright colors and some of the rather iconic psychedelic designs of the late 60s into the early 70s. Peter Max turns 83 in 2020. We've mentioned tuberculosis before and so many people from ordinary citizens to historical figures died earlier than we would have liked because they contracted tuberculosis and so it is that I'm happy to report that on this day Streptomycin, the first antibiotic remedy for tuberculosis, was isolated by researchers at Rutgers University on October 19, 1943. This is the birthday of actor John Lithgow, born October 19, 1945. He turned 75 in 2020. China defeated the Tibetan army at Chambo on October 19, 1950. The Point Four program was a technical assistance program for developing countries announced by the United States President Harry Truman in his inaugural address on January 20th, 1949. It took its name from the fact that it was the fourth foreign policy objective mentioned in the speech. And on October 19th, 1950, Iran became the first country to accept technical assistance from the United States under the Point Four program. The Soviet Union and Japan signed a joint declaration on October 19, 1956, officially ending the state of war between the two countries that had existed since August of 1945. The United States imposed a near total trade embargo against Cuba on October 19, 1960. This is the birthday of boxer and actor Evander Holyfield, born October 19, 1962. He turns 58 in 2020. This is the birthday of, I didn't know he was a model, but that's what it says, model, carpenter, television host, Ty Pennington, born October 19, 1964. He turns 56 in 2020. And the birthday of American psychic and author John Edward, born October 19th, 1969. On October 19th, 1987, a day known as Black Monday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell by 22%, 508 points, one of the largest one-day percentage drops in the history of the DJIA. Mother Teresa was beatified by Pope John Paul II on October 19th, 2003. Saddam Hussein went on trial in Baghdad on October 19, 2005 for crimes against humanity. Hurricane Wilma formed on October 15th and lasted until October 27th of 2005. A Category 5, Wilma became the most intense Atlantic hurricane on record on October 19th, 2005 with a pressure of 882 millibars. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. 
Remember, if you enjoyed this series, you can find the playlist for it in the show notes and also in the iCard up in the corner. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Now let's make sure we don't have any boo-boos in our makeup this time. Sometimes when I'm watching these later, I see a little, oh, there's a little bobble on the lipstick or a little something or other, you know, a little flaw in the eye makeup. And I'm, I'm not going to re-record it, though. Say that again. <laughs> okay. Road noise. Can you hear that road noise? I'm about a mile and a half or two miles from an interstate highway. Okay, let's see if we could just get that all the way through. Wouldn't that be awesome? That sounds like a pretty ambitious project. Okay, just leave that part out. Not the first day, but the birthday. I guess the birthday is the first day. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all that's gonna go together. Or if it's even gonna make it to the video, we'll just see. That's not gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna cut those out. Now that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>